hospitals don't give families bad news lightly. So in February 2018, when Lewis Hornby and his mother received a call saying his grandma Pat, who had been living with dementia for five years, had gone downhill suddenly, and they should prepare for the worst, they got ready to say their goodbyes. Grandma had become completely unresponsive, recalls Lewis, now 26. But within 24 hours of going on to a trip, she was back to her normal happy self. It turned out she had actually just been dehydrated. I was shocked that something so basic could have had such a huge impact. Close quote engineering graduate Lewis from Lancashire, was studying for a master's degree at Imperial College London at the time. As part of his course he needed to create a product, and the experience sparked an idea that could help Pat get the fluids she needed. I started speaking with Dash psychologists and realized that not drinking enough was a massive issue affecting people with dementia, says Lewis. It turns out some don't feel first, others don't recognize cups, or have the dexterity to use them. They might not even realize that drinking will quench their thirst, and not having enough fluids just adds to their general confusion. Close quote to better understand the problem, Lewis went to stay in his grandma's care home in Harrogate. It quickly became apparent that the confusion caused by dementia and Alzheimer's leads to some really odd behavior, like putting food in drinks or pouring them away. Spilling drinks is easy enough, but they'd also fall asleep with them in their lips. By far the biggest problem, however, was that many people would refuse help to drink and the carers just didn't have the time to sit with the residents to ensure they were sufficiently hydrated. Close quote. During his month at the home, Lewis discovered there was one surefire method to ensure residents engaged with him. Most of those with dementia would ignore me when I went to say hello, which is fair enough, he says. But if I had a box of chocolates they would suddenly light up, start speaking in full sentences, and help themselves to a handful. So this gave me the idea to create a solid form of hydration that they would see as a treat. Close quote. Teaming up with a couple of fellow students, Lewis came up with an innovative fruity sweet made up of 95% water and electrolytes. He headed back to the care home with his prototypes, and they were an instant success with Pat. In the first 10 minutes, after I offered them to Grandma she had seven drops, he says. It would have taken me hours to get her to drink the equivalent amount of water for hydration. Close quote. Lewis took videos of Pat eating the drops and submitted them to the James Dyson Awards, which give cash prizes to invest in new innovation. We didn't win, but the organizers messaged to say they had received a dash unprecedented number of people inquiring about it, he says. I started getting all these random emails from people who had seen the videos. It sort of blew up overnight. I realized there was a huge demand so decided to crowdfund its creation. 37% of older people acutely admitted to hospital are dehydrated. It is thought that by 2050, 2 million people will be living with dementia, making Dash innovation in this area vital. At just giving Page raised £10,000 to kick things off. I started off in a co-working space, cooking the jellies on a hob at my desk, with people staring at me wondering what the hell was going on. 
from there we moved into a test kitchen. But things really took off when Lewis won a grant from the Alzheimer's Society's Accelerator Program, which invests in products for people living with dementia. They gave us a £100,000 grant and in return, they get 1% of our profits, says Lewis, who gave the sweets a teardrop shape. This makes them easy to pick up, empowering the elderly to feed themselves independently. After 18 months of development, with the support of a confectionery expert Nick Fretwell, who used to work at Cadbury's, we are finally ready to launch, Lewis explains. Sadly, Grandma Pat died of coronavirus in April, aged 83, but she will live on through the products. Her name was Pat Dickinson, so I did a mashup of that and called them Pattinson's Jelly Drops, he explains. She loved them, and it is great to know so many other people will now be able to benefit from something I invented because of her. Close quote.